Hello everyone and welcome back to Homeworld. So I have enough food now, I have enough food to actually not starve, I have enough food to constantly power my culinary generator and I think I have enough food to trade with the villagers for emeralds. So I might actually want to try to get a new gem maybe in the next episode because I still need to do some other things to make a gem base. Like I need to go back to the nether in order to get some more blaze powder so I might as well do it with lapis going on the other side but not today. Today I, I still have an even more important thing to do. I need to improve the efficiency of my builder because as fast as it is right now it can be even faster. It can be a lot faster. I mean, it can do that pretty much instantly if it has enough energy, but it doesn't. It doesn't have enough energy. And I think doing something as, as simple as building one other culinary generator will be a really good thing. And it actually looks like it, it just completely cleared this whole area. I actually forgot just how small of an area I assigned to it, but I did this just just to start with, just so that I can get all kinds of different resources. And wait a second, so I didn't get any diamonds from it. I was I was kind of hoping to get some diamonds, but in any case, let's assign a new area for it. And as I said a few episodes ago, I plan to use this area for for my base and there's gonna be an awesome elevator in the middle of it and I actually already built this elevator so basically there is a cool elevator in open blocks and it's cool and it's easy to use but it's not as cool as the RF tools elevator RF tools elevator is really cool and this is the one I want to use so yeah I built a little bit of a something this is what it might look like and imagine this actually being underground right and there's glass so you can actually see this whole underground base that builder made i think it's gonna be absolutely awesome okay so oh wait a second no 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 there's actually another thing i need to do i think i need to make it a dimension 255 so that it just digs everything from top to bottom all right let's put it inside and let's maybe visualize it uh nah i mean i know exactly what area it's gonna dig so there is no need for that unless there's some kind of an island that i didn't notice flying on top of me like this tinker's construct island that it will have to dig but no no there is nothing like that and now it begins to dig this area and I think it's gonna do chunk by chunk so now it's gonna do this small square because it's part of one chunk then it's gonna move on to the other and I'm still gonna expand this base a lot more like I want for it to be a giant square right but just because I don't really have enough energy now I'm gonna do it in small segments and while I'm doing this let's actually give as much energy as possible to it. So I also want to make another energy cell and I think I have enough resources only with my whole storage being just a giant mess. I'm not exactly sure where those things are, those things that I need. So I need two lead ingots. I also need this thing and I need a lead gear for that so we need a bunch of lead actually and let's see how much i have i have six in here and i have some pulverized lead that i didn't smelt for some reason as well as 22 in here and i also got some iron from well a little bit from quarry but mostly i spend a little bit of time digging and let's actually put all of those other resources let's put them all through this whole crushing smelting system okay here you go good luck being crushed and doubled <laughs> all right so let's make everything i need let's start with this 
got it. And then I also need a redstone. Yeah, let's... Let's take care of those simple things first. So where is my redstone? <laughs> I should have a lot of redstone, okay? Okay, there is 18. And that's actually enough, so... Whatever. Let's make it. And actually, just for convenience sake, let's make another crafting table. I'm gonna put it somewhere over here. So here, I can already start putting things that I have, like this block of redstone, those two blocks. And they're gonna stay there. Okay, so what else do I need? I need one electrum ingot, and for that I will need... Stop! Stop the process! No, I think I needed one pulverized lead. I'm pretty sure. But okay, let's double check. <laughs> now that it's gone anyway, why not? Okay, so how did I even make it last time? I think I made this Electrum Blend. So I need... Oh, actually I need gold and silver. Oh, okay. Gold and silver, well... Oh, I have some Electrum ingots here. <laughs> from the last time I was doing this, so that's quite convenient. And got this thing. And now let's just ma make the main part. So I just need a bunch of iron and some glass. And I think I should have all of that. Except for glass. Yeah. I spent some glass just building this door. <laughs> so I actually think I have a bunch of these doors now. Mm, maybe not. In any case, that makes me think, is there any other way to get sand? Because there might be a way like to crash gravel maybe, to crash cobblestone, really. I think I crashed cobblestone before and it gave me, gave me gravel. But there's actually, well, this is pulverizer. I did this through crusher, maybe grinder. Okay, what do I have here? I have crusher in here. Let's try to put some cobblestone inside. Okay, sorry lad. <laughs> I gotta crush some cobblestone and let's see what it will produce. In here. It gives me, come on, gravel. Yeah, not sand. Okay, for crusher, and that's still a different crusher, wait. <laughs> okay, this is the one I'm using. For crusher, I need gravel. I need to actually crush gravel or cobblestone, but there is like 10% chance of getting it. So I don't really want to go anywhere getting it. Let's just... Let's just crush some cobblestone and then... Okay, sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. Gotta crush some cobblestone and then crush the gravel that I'm gonna get from it. Alright, gravel will stay here, because it doesn't really need to be smelted by a furnace. And it will take a while, so I think I'm gonna just take a look around. Because I still need one very important thing. Enderpearls, okay? I actually need to find a way to farm enderpearls, because a lot of those things that I really need, including, for example, this elevator that I want to build, needs it needs like at least, you know, a couple of ender pearls to make two levels. And if I want to make more levels, I need more ender pearls. So I need to find some kind of a way to farm it. But for now, just just seeing one enderman will be more than enough because I need chunk loader. I still didn't make it because I don't have an ender pearl. To be honest though, maybe I do. Maybe I have an ender pearl and it's in one of those 20 chests that I've got. <laughs> Just sitting there, hidden. Maybe, but I don't think so, so let's try to find one. Unfortunately, don't see any, but I'm just running around right now because... Why not? It still takes quite a bit of time to turn cobblestone into gravel. And I might as well spend this time searching for an Enderman. Even though chances of meeting one just like this out in the open are not really high. And actually, I don't think I really need to do anything special to farm Ender Pearls. I mean, me just getting to the end in the previous season with a couple of gems was more than effective. And they were killing those Endermen so fast and I was getting so many Ender Pearls. 
So I think that will be more than enough. Okay, 14. And let's actually just put it in here. That's fine. All right. And now it's gonna turn into sand, so... Let's run around a little bit more. I actually don't think I've been to this lake before. I mean, I was flying around on Lapis quite a bit, but I didn't really see this lake from this level. And it's actually <laughs> quite a nice lake. And I can hear some zombies. So maybe there's an Enderman somewhere. In the cave, perhaps. That will teleport to me right now. No. No. Unfortunately, wait a second. Oh, yeah, I remember digging that. Oh my gosh, is this actually the place where I've been to in the beginning? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Hello there, pig. Okay, well. I think I'm gonna get back now. Yeah, I remember this place. Alright, so wait a second. Oh, nice. Actually, sand is being smelted straight away into glass which is exactly what I wanted so I think I should be able I should be able to make energy cell now this thing got it and just gotta put it in the middle yes energy cell that can store two million redstone flux is now in my possession so no 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 no, no. stop that stop that I gotta make a few changes here so let's wait for this to run out. And I'm gonna put this cell down. And let's also see if I can make another... Another culinary generator. Well, let's start with furnace generator. And then if I can make that, then culinary... Culinary generator will be super easy. Okay, so I need a furnace and I need a machine block. For machine block, all I need is a chest. Alright, well, I have a chest right here oh well yeah chest and i just made a crafting table great okay there we go one chest just like you asked and also i need a normal furnace okay um uh, can i use this cobblestone yes i can and there we go furnace generator and all i need to do is surround it with some food and just a tiny little bit of redstone. Oh my gosh. But I just run out of redstone. No. No, I only need one. Yes. Okay, good, good, good. My beautiful quarry gave me four more redstone. Good. Okay. And in return, I will improve your efficiency. At least two times. And if I'm gonna be using bread on both of these then I will improve its efficiency even more than that. Okay, did I use all of my meat? I think I might have put it in the culinary generator in the last episode. Or, you know, a few episodes ago when I was doing that. So, hmm. Gotta find a pig real quick. Or maybe a cow. Okay. It has to be done, cow. <laughs> okay. Wait a second, I got some leather, but no meat? Really? Ah. Okay, well. Hello, pig. Oh my gosh, skeleton? Really? You gonna do that? You gonna really do that? Don't do that. Okay. Oh, no, actually, I got some meat from that. Good, good. And I don't really need any of that. I have plenty of bones. I have plenty of useless bows. And the one good bow I had, I lost, unfortunately. Okay, in any case, Bismuth, I need some meat cooked. Thank you very much. And now, witness, second culinary generator has been made. Bismuth, please, can you please get out of here? I need a little bit of space to work, okay? Alright, so let me pick this up, as well as this hopper, I guess. Okay, and patch up this hole. Alright, so I'm gonna put my energy cell right here, and I'm gonna put two of my culinary generators here, 
and here. And now... Now I can put one hopper in here. I guess, and the other one... Well, I guess just on top of this one. Just gonna be two separate hoppers. Alright. Good, good. Well, unfortunately I can't power both of them up using bread right now. But I do have a lot of carrots and now it's generating twice as much energy. Let's start giving it to Builder and it should be working twice as fast. And I actually, I can actually hear that it works a lot faster now. And as I said, once I start using bread for both of them, I think it will be working four times as fast as it was working originally. And it actually already finished digging this one hole, which is quite nice. And let's actually quickly see how close I am to getting enough bread. Well, the biggest limitation to me getting more bread now is just the size of the farm. My farm is quite small right now and I kind of want to use worms as much as possible because worms are kind of cool. <laughs> so, can I make one out of marble? Nope. Okay, so now, okay, can I use this cobblestone? Yes, I can. I'm gonna try to get more worms. <laughs> and the way you get worms is you just destroy ground. So let's try to do that. Or you just turn ground into farmland and there is a chance that some worms will appear. Okay, come on worms. Yes, got one. But I need more. Got two. I wonder if you can craft them. <sighs> a little bit of lag, but there we go. Okay, no, I don't think so. I don't think you can. Okay, but I'm getting them pretty fast. Two worms already, but I need more. Come on. Actually, three worms already. Good. Oh my gosh, seven. Did you see that? Seven worms. Oh, I can expand my farm a lot using them. Nine. I didn't know that some of them drop like more than one. This is amazing. Come on, more worms. Okay, it broke, but nine worms will allow me to expand this farm so much. Okay, well, first of all, let's just place one in here. And also, and also three worms over here to make this nice square. And then I think I'm gonna just build a farm on the side. Yes. Okay, nice. Let's collect this. Oh my gosh, my inventory. Okay, sticks, sorry, but you gotta go. Because I gotta plant some more seeds now. Okay, still don't have enough for a full farm. But soon, soon, actually, maybe sooner than I thought. Okay, there we go. But let's turn it into bread for now. And yeah, I'm still really, really limited on wheat. So I'm just gonna use bread as my food. All right. Well, gosh, just nine bread. Ah, uh, but let's put those carrots in here. And in the next episode, I will get some more carrots using what bone meal I have left. Gonna go trade with villagers, get some blaze powder, and I think I will be able to inject another gem. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Efficiency of my builder has been increased twice. And we are even closer to achieving some amazing things like going to other planets of galactic craft. But that's it with this episode and I will see you in the next video.